All right, boys and girls, here we go. So, started the second half in the other video. However, something happened, had a little technical difficulty. So here's part two. So some things I'm doing with the watercolors. I do not have to put down all of them in evenly so I can kind of spread them out. Get an interesting look going on here. Now remember, you don't have to use watercolors. You can use crayons, you can use pencils, you can use markers, whatever you have at home. So I just wanted to do something a little different and now I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to color the rest of this in. I'm going to use a different brush. Maybe I'm going to make this one. Take some purple. Mm, no, I don't want that color. I really don't. That's not what I wanted. Maybe I'll take some of this. Yellow, mix it with this, I know. Mix some yellow in and go ahead and color this in. Now remember the resist. Now I did try the resist on the white. It did paint over the white a little bit. Um, I kind of like the texture, but might not be what you're looking for. And notice that I can just go right over the whole image here, the whole succulent, I can just color that in. I might want to add some extra yellow because I wanted this one a little more a little different than that one. I don't know if that's enough different. So here I have my pattern going on at the bottom. I have a little bit of a pattern here. Even this succulent is a pattern. Now I want to do this. I have a nice pattern on my tabletop. I want to do that. Um, what color should I make that one? Hmm. Maybe I'll take some of this magenta and do this kind of a thing. There are succulents that are these colors. So I figure I'm going to go with that. But that's not good because I didn't go in the lines. So I take my time. And I hope you take your time too. I hope you do a good job on your succulents. Take your time and do a nice job. When you're done, I would like it. I would love it. And I need you to upload your videos to me. Now. I mean, not your videos, but your um, upload your paintings to me. So take a picture. Either have your parent do it, your grown up, or um, possibly if you have your own phone, because I know some of you fifth, fourth graders do, take a picture of just the painting. I'm not doing pictures of students because I'm not going down that road. And I will post it in my gallery. So I'm looking for pictures of artwork. Um, if you send me a picture of yourself holding the artwork, I will love, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, because I miss you guys, and I really want to see you, but I can't, um, I can't put that out on my, um, website in public, because that just, it's no good, I can't do that, there's, um, I don't have a list of whose parents said it was okay or not, and quite honestly, even if you're, uh, grown up was the person emailing or talking to me. Um, since I don't have it signed and only your homeroom teacher does, I don't want to go down that road. I know that some of you have um, your homeroom teacher posts pictures of you and your parents gave an okay. And I think that's great. But um, 420 students doing that for Miss M, I know all of you don't have that. And I don't even know how I'd keep track of all that. I would lose my mind but I can post pictures of your pictures picture of your picture of your picture so send them in when you're done 
Like I said, if you do this whole thing in crayon, cool. I don't care. If you do the whole thing in color pencils, awesome. Whatever you have, please take your time. Somebody sent me um, last, last project when we did the Zentangle. They were supposed to do line patterns and um, I can tell that you rushed even in the picture. So take your time and uh, send it in when you get a chance. I'm going to try to put a link so you can put it in through the classroom. Thank you, boys and girls. I'll upload some videos later.